we are losing the good girl forty dollars an hour why are your children eating poop why are men paying people to eat poop When the sun comes out, it's time to enjoy the greenery. Ah, oh, looks so great. Being amongst the trees is one of the most amazing things ever. And this little forest with this very tall trees. Oh my God, it's so therapeutic. Can you hear the sound of the water flowing? The sound of the water flowing look at the clouds and the skies ah beautiful i never really get tired of just being amongst nature amongst the trees it's one of the most therapeutic things and especially in this day and age where we are always bombarded with the most heinous things i feel like watching the news is the fastest way to fall into depression because everything is just negative that's why i really don't watch the news every single day anymore because it's just not helping me in any way and in the last video I saw a comment talking about how the girls are eating poop and I was like what the girls are eating poop this is happening in Nairobi I'm like why are the girls eating poop obviously from the conversations that I've seen online a lot of people are blaming these girls they're like oh, the rates of morality have gone down we are losing the good girls but obviously in Jeppism's fashion I don't look at things and just create a conclusion without really going deep and of course with this story of the girls are eating poop there is more to it this is more like a symptom of a bigger problem this sun is really really hot it's the kind of sun that tells you that it's going to rain later on the first thing from this situation is the consequences of social media pressure this eating poop is a different form of prostitution and for a lot of these young girls because they're very much young girls they're seeing this as a quick way of getting money and most of the times it's actually influenced by peer pressure and also sometimes they are in relationships with men who are forcing them to do these things for quick money that's also a reality and because a lot of these girls want to look like they are living this soft life they see this as a quick way of getting money to buy them this life obviously they're not thinking about the consequences especially the mental consequences the physical consequences because if you're eating poop you're destroying your own immune system but they're not thinking about this because you know the young brain barely thinks about consequences it's always just reacting their frontal lobe is not really developed obviously we can look at this and blame morality the girls don't have morals but let's also look at why is this happening why is there demand for girls to eat poop who is this that has created this demand to pay someone to see them eating poop this is also showing that there's a huge problem with these men because yeah it is the men and they're older men they have children they have families and especially those who are doing this in nairobi these are foreign men they're coming from different countries and this is why kenya has become very popular in the past years especially for these foreign men because obviously kenya is a deeply patriarchal society it means that they can get away with doing a lot of atrocious things to a lot of young girls and they come waving their dollars and they know that nothing is gonna happen to them they can literally do whatever obviously we can't have this conversation without really asking ourselves why is it that these men want to see people eating poop what is wrong with these men this is not a problem that affects only Kenya I've also heard about girls who have flown out to Dubai to eat poop clearly we should be asking ourselves why are men paying people to eat poop what is wrong with these men can't look at this kind of prostitution and just want to blame the girls the girls are doing it because there's demand for it clearly there is a problem with the larger society this also brings up the reality that a lot of parents have abandoned their children are not teaching them anything they're not giving them any kind of guidance and this is the consequence of parents giving birth to their children as retirement plans we are in a time right now where a lot of people especially who are my age and even younger you're finishing school you've graduated you have a degree but it is increasing 
increasingly harder to get a job and this is actually a worldwide problem it's just not a Kenyan problem and you find that a lot of parents don't know what to do with their children because they expected that their children will finish school and they'll have these nice jobs and they'll start sending them money but when their children now don't have money instead of them taking them in and trying to help them through their lives they're like oh I can't support you anymore because you're now an adult you need to figure it out yourself they are abandoning their children because they are not becoming the return on investment they expected them to be and unfortunately this is the reality for a lot of African children a lot of parents feel like oh the children owe them money for bringing them into this world you give back to the children on your own no one forced you now you are abandoning your child because you don't want to take responsibility because you thought it would only take you 18 years it's actually very irresponsible to bring a child into this world and tell yourself oh once they hit 18 I don't have to be responsible for them you are responsible for your children until they die and a lot of people have made fun of me for being at home at 27 they're like oh you should go and make something out of yourself I'm really glad I come from a family where the men really take responsibility aside from the fact that because I was born a girl I'm just seen as property they would rather have this property thriving at home than depreciating somewhere else <laughs> at least they're taking responsibility that unfortunately for a lot of these girls were out there eating poop i wouldn't be surprised if you find that a lot of them were raised by single mothers and this is not to vilify single mothers because they're the parent that stayed and actually struggled through raising a child the problem is with these men who are abandoning their children why are you bringing children into this world if you know very well that you're not going to take care of them the fact that these girls are opting to demean themselves in this manner it just shows that clearly the men have not been playing their roles as fathers very well i can tell you for a fact any self-respecting man would never never ever ever allow their child to do that there are so many great fathers out there who would literally literally sell their organs before they can see their own children doing the worst demeaning themselves just for money this is clearly showing a failure of men as fathers because why are your children eating poop another thing that we are not going to overlook here is the fact that a lot of young women are being pushed to prostitution because even when you're looking for a job in this country the men who are the decision makers they are telling you that you have to sleep with them before they can give you a job so clearly a lot of these young girls are maybe thinking if the society is pushing them to become prostitutes in one way or another they'd rather choose the highest bidder and the ones that are paying them to eat poop are paying them well i've heard they're getting about 40 dollars an hour and these jobs that are asking you to sleep with the boss so that you can get it they probably will pay you about 300 dollars a month i've always found it so interesting in this country that it's very easy to blame the girls to blame the women and all these problems most of the times are being created by the men no you can't blame the girls yet you're not looking at yourselves as a patriarchal society where the men are in charge of power and one of the reasons why a lot of people are doing these atrocious things is because of lack of jobs if you look at the government look at the positions of power even in companies majority of the people in these positions are men so clearly it's the men that are causing all these problems they want to blame women and young girls obviously i know that a lot of people wouldn't want to hear this they just want to blame the girls but no until you start holding men accountable i don't think that anyone has a right to blame what girls are doing what women are doing obviously girls eating poop is not something nice but it's also showing how our society has deteriorated it also comes down to the individuals because as individuals we are the ones that are contributing to keeping the societal systems one side of the skies is absolutely gorgeous with the blue sky and a little bit of the white clouds and the other one <laughs> completely somber with the dark clouds <laughs> not too sweet can't taste the spinach this is the best way to eat fruit i'm really bad at eating fruit and i find that when i just eat something like a banana on its own it makes me gassy but when i eat it in a smoothie i just feel fine these are the books that i'm currently reading both of them are rereads i always do a lot of rereads for the books that i have can't always get everything in a single read or the second read it takes you several this book really comes in handy especially if you're a working woman you want to be a boss <laughs> 
you're self-employed it teaches you a lot i remember i saw pals Tusi reading it and i was just like i need to get it i got it and it's a very basic book it teaches you a thing or two about being productive about entrepreneurship all the things that you need to know that no one really ever teaches you i think it's really great for anyone that stayed out of university and they know nothing about the work world because these things no one teaches you this is like a great crash course and of course there's this one by elizabeth acevedo i just like her books the cover is absolutely fantastic the writing style is very unique it's a fiction story that has been told in a poetic format like that I remember the first time I read Elizabeth Acevedo's book, The Poet X, that was the first introduction to her. And my mind was blown. I was like, oh my God, this is like the most amazing format. Infusing whatever story you have with poetry, that is genius. Especially for me as a writer, for someone who wants to publish a book, you know, seeing different formats, something that's really great to know that, oh, I can actually innovate, to know that there is no right way to write a book. You can do it in the way that you think does the most justice to the story that you want to tell. All of that is literally missed. I've been waiting for these flowers to bloom and they have the most perfect purple color. This is how they were before. This is how they are now. One of our dogs literally stole someone's sauteed. <laughs> Had such a beautiful pattern and it broke it into pieces. This is literally so sad. Someone puts in a lot of energy into taking care of their sauteed and then a dog, a random dog, steals it and breaks it. The mist also makes things so beautiful. It's not just the sun. Am I even visible? A mist? The mist? <laughs> that side has the mist. And the side is absolutely clear. But that mist is moving this way. <laughs> Don't run away. Why are you running away? I'm not gonna do anything to you. I just saw the notes from one of my earlier videos where I spoke about how society hates young people. And it really continues to baffle me how society is continuously always blaming young people when young people do something that society doesn't approve of, you know, like girls eating poop. But what a lot of people fail to do in this society while they blame young people is dig deeper into what could be making young people make these outrageous choices. I mean, when you look at the work environment, a lot of people are blaming Gen Z for being lazy, for being too entitled. But no one is really talking about how the society we live in has become incredibly expensive. And even having a nine to five in many countries is no longer enough to sustain somebody's lifestyle. And that's not good at all because we're talking about an individual not being able to sustain their lifestyle on a nine to five salary. I literally almost stepped on ants. I almost stepped on that i would have had the worst 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 day these things have a way of creeping up on you when you don't know and then they start biting when you feel comfortable these are scary we're talking about an economy where a lot of young people will never be able to own a house what we're constantly seeing is older generations being like when i was your age i was married with children i had my own house yes of course because the economy wasn't what it is now and one of the things that we don't like about the older generations is how they keep on thinking that the world is the way it was back then and one of the reasons they do this is because they don't want to acknowledge the role that they've played in creating such a toxic society especially economically they don't want to acknowledge that they got all the benefits and their children are having none of that because it means that they would have to take accountability for that but they don't want to do that so it's really easy to just blame young people one of the things that i mentioned in that video about how society hates young people is the fact that your worth is measured by how productive you are to the economy and because the economy is really deteriorating it means that a lot of young people are always defined as unworthy people who have no value to society which is not the fault of young people and this is exactly why you're seeing a lot of these billionaires complaining about four falling bath rates not because they really care about children being brought into this world i mean if they cared they would have solved 
poverty there wouldn't be a lot of oppressive systems but they care because it means that fewer people means that they have to pay a lot of money for workers of course they don't want to do that because how are they going to maintain their billionaire status they want women to give birth to children who are just going to provide cheap labor it's really so exhausting living in this society and i'm just so exhausted with this conversation of blaming young people where it's clearly not our problem <laughs> We have done everything right. You do everything right. You do whatever they tell you. Go to school, get the good grades, and still nothing works for you. It's not your problem. Clearly, it's the society that it's failing. And these older generations need to step up. They need to start taking accountability because the world is the way it is. Because they're the ones that tolerated a lot of these oppressive systems. It doesn't make sense that you expect young people to fix the world for you. I mean, what kind of adults do we have? Yeah. <sighs>